Carroll County Board, Board of Zoning Appeals meeting to order. <laughs> and first thing on the agenda is the introduction of the members. Jeff Watson, representing uh, area plan. Jim Aiden, representing the mayor. Everett Snowburger, town of Camden. Doug Walker, at schools. Cameron Yates, area plan director. Cindy Harmon, legal counsel. Okay, second item on the agenda is uh, approval of the minutes from July 27, 2021. Everyone has a copy of the, the uh, minutes, correct? Are there any corrections or additions to the minutes as presented? basically what I want to do is on the west side uh, it'll be 20 to 30 feet in from the west side it could be you know 10 to 15 feet or 5 10 to 15 feet in from the uh, south side so your request is for five feet yeah and the reason I went with five feet was because I I thought I remember you saying that uh, you know you go five feet from any other side, so I just took that as a random number and said five feet. But uh, from what I understand, it may be a, a little issue if uh, you know if there's something in the field and, and it gets blown on. Um, so I'll go back, and I'm not really worried about anything, you know, chaff coming out of the back end of the combine doing anything to my pan. basically what I want. And that, those little panels should never be connected to the grid. Um, so, because REMC, I'm not planning on having REMC bring any type of uh, wire down there. So. Any more questions from the board? What are the panels to be used? They're not going on the grid, but they will be anything that I, you know, like I'm planning on building back there. So it will be, you know, like a garage and a house. Uh, so they will be connected to the garage and the house to support, you know, to supply power for that. So if you've got, you'll have power by RMC, RMC, correct? I will not have power by RMC. For any of it? Or? No. That's the plan. If it, if it, uh, if everything works out and I can, you know, like it's a little test so I can see if it's actually gonna supply the power that I want, uh, then I will never, and I will never connect those to the REMC anyway. If, but they're supposedly, uh, you know, that these <coughs> panels will put out, you know, like five kilowatts or something a day to charge 
discharge the batteries. So this shouldn't be an issue. I hope with you know electricity back there. Don't want to find out the hard way. What's that? Said we don't want to find out the hard way. And the end is full of Mother Nature, so we don't. Yeah. Well, yeah, I figure you know you know trees and everything else falls down on things. So, uh, but it will you know later on when I complete the project, it will have a a generator connected. Uh, there will be propane. I'll put a propane tank back there so that we can connect the generator up in case the solar panels. You know because you know sometimes in the winter time you don't get daylight. Seven days, two weeks, whatever. Uh, they may need to be charged that way too. But that was uh, pretty much, unless there was something else you want to know. How big are the panels? The panels, individually, yeah. individually, the panels are four feet by about three feet. So yeah. it'll be. How uh, far off the ground? The, the front of the panel, uh, I will probably put about two feet off the ground. And the rear will be, it's going to be set at about a 30 degree angle. Uh, and then whatever that flies out will be. So that way I can mow under, work under, whatever I need to do. Can I ask a question? Sure. So if this was approved today, would you agree to with the concerns of a few neighbors? Would you uh, be open to signing a, a waiver that they would not be responsible if their equipment damaged your? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was uh, something that was brought to our attention. So and you guys do have a couple letters and packets, so just just cover the bases here. Okay, the way I look at it, Cameron, uh, this would technically be the front yard. Correct. So the driveway is going to go around that. So the front setback for the accessory structures, the front stays the same, which would be 50 feet. 50 and, feet. And so then, we're seeking variance of 45 feet from the 50. Yeah, he wants to be feet, 5 feet. 5 feet. feet from correct. In the yep. Line. Okay. Yep. So just want to just want to clarify that. That's okay. And uh, uh, okay. Anything else you'd like to say? <clears throat> sir? No, not unless there's something else you want to ask me. Anybody else? You've got a couple of How many acres is that on? Uh, 10. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Covered. Accessory structures have to be 50 foot from property line too. Accessory structures, the front setback stays the same. The sides and the rear go to 5 feet. That's what I'm going to figure out. Yeah. The front setback stays the same. So if he was still pretty thinking of the side of the property, he could just leave it at 5 feet. He could go 5 feet. Side or rear both, yep. Okay. So I guess it depends on, that's, I mean, it would be 50 feet from the front before you could go five feet from the side, then, correct? It's good, so your front property line. Right. So your front property line, whereas, because this is where your drive line will go, so that that's your front. Yeah, so the faces, faces of Iowa would be the side of the faces of Iowa would be technically considered the front, unless it's a lake property, and then it points to the other side. It is the lake is the front. Correct. Yeah, you know, their properties are tricky. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, sir? No, I see it. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Okay. Cameron, uh, please say advertised yes. and sign posted as required by regulation. Yes. Uh, staff report. Uh, the applicant is requesting a variance of five feet as we just discussed. Front set setback in lieu of the required 50 feet. Uh, the property is zoned ag, as stated in the Carroll County Zoning Ordinance. Um, as he, Mr. Starbuck requested, he said, requesting ground mounted solar panels installed five feet from the property line. The use and value of the adjacent property would most likely be unaffected. The property values of such parcels would increase with the new construction homes. The change in the front set setback would not be injurious to the public's health, safety, moral, or general welfare of the community. Is the staff's opinion the use and value of the lot would increase with the addition of the solar panels on the property owner's use. However, we have had a couple of concerns by the property, uh, adjacent property owners, so staff uh, 
has not provided a recommendation and asked that the BZA be forward to review the matter for a recommendation. You did get two letters. Yeah. And we'll be able to them, right? Yep. So okay. <clears throat> all right. Okay. Thanks very much. Uh, any questions for Pam from the board? Other than those two, we didn't have any other okay. uh, concern. And uh, I'm looking through the uh, packet here. One is a uh, uh, letter from John Abbott. John, and uh, let's see, says wants to voice concern and opposition of the project, being property owner on two sides. Joining Mr. Starbuck, I have concerns with proposed five foot setback. My main concern is potential damage to solar panels while working and producing crop year to year. Having large equipment to use throughout the growing season has potential damage to property sitting that close to the property line. An example would be during far, farm harvest during the combine. There's fodder and other bees that ejected out of the back of the combine, 25 feet, could potentially damage the solar panels. My understanding is Mr. Starbuck's land is almost an entirely wooded property. Where, where exactly are the solar solar panels going to be located uh, to be even be feasible? I'm not opposed to this project as long as the setback is not a five foot. If this is approved, I would like a waiver of liability if the panels become damaged from Mr. Starbuck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one is from Barb Jones' family. Received a letter about zoning ordinance or zoning variance and would like to voice my concerns and objections to the five setback of five foot. Mr. Starbuck has approximately 10 acres of land and has plenty of area to install solar panels and still abide by the current setback of 50 feet. My husband and I have owned and operated our family farm our entire life. We are concerned about damage that could potentially could accrue due to large equipment and debris from everyday farming. Five foot from the property line seems relatively close for that type of equipment, uh, especially during harvest. Please consider denying this request. Okay. Everybody got that? Yeah. All right. Uh, any questions? Okay, we'll move on to public comment. And is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this variant? Opposition to the variance. If so, please stand up and state your name and address. I just stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I, just, I, I know you're probably a little uncomfortable with public speaking. I just sure. had concerns with the machine <coughs> yeah. about combine issue or what the ground in the spring or in the fall. About five foot, I guess. Uh, I don't want to be responsible in case they would damage the solar panels. Well, if you cross onto his property line, that yes. potentially would be a trespassing yeah. issue, yeah. correct? Yeah, but that's pretty close. <clears throat> what did you say your name was? Brian Jones. Brian Jones. I know my dad's kind of whipped around a few times. And I know. I grew took up out a farm. telephone pole and whatever. I know I have to take the fence off. And in the past, when fences were the property line, it was easy to delineate where one property started and another property started. Yeah, Correct. yeah there is. It's just, uh, it's just wide open out there now. So. Yeah, and now you're looking at a stake at the corner and a yeah, stake over Yeah, it's just a fence post. It's a fence post. Or a rock. Or a rock. Anything else you want to say? No, I just, I mean, it's, I'm okay with it. It's just, I just don't want to be responsible in case something happens, even if we're even out in the field or, or whatever. So. Okay. I just don't want anything to happen. Would you be, and I'm just throwing this out as a potential proposal, would you be uh, open to a proposal for Mr. Starbuck that not? To not hold you harm or to hold you harmless of flying debris from combine harvesting. Yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Starbuck, would that be agreeable to you? Yeah. Okay. But if if 
if he turns his GPS on and uh, falls asleep at the wheel and the crash runs over the solar panel. <laughs> That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> and I bring that up. I would no, no, no. might feel a little guilty about that and say, I'm sorry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I bring that up because that is impossible. Yeah, Austin did that at the other end and took out the neighbor's mailbox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Mr. Sutherland? Yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to say? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, Barb, would you like to speak, please? Well, would you show that picture again? Where that? Please, yeah, please drop the microphone, state your name, Barb address, Jones. address where you live. Yeah. I live up in the hill. And, and, uh, and yeah, you're, 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 that, property, you're so, part of the property owners, right? Yes. Okay. So is that out into the field, that square? This is that square that's yes. I know we're here. The same. Yeah. Is that out into the field? No, that's that, on his property. Would be, <clears throat> that would be on Mr. Starbucks property. Okay. And the variance that we would be granting, if we would grant it, would be that it has to be five feet north of the property line. What's this right here? Yeah, where's the road end on this map? The road is back now. Right here. That's, so that's 1,500, 2,000. Well, there's quite a ways back. Yeah, here's the picture looks like it was taken from the road. This lane goes back, and so it'd be right over this area. Right. Yeah, then there's a 20 foot easement there in front of the road. <clears throat> so would, would this, you know, Mr. Starbuck, would this be beyond the 20 foot easement? You, you know, I mean, Brian's saying there's a 20 foot easement. I don't, is, is it an easement or? I thought the way it was written was there was, it wasn't necessarily an easement, it was, uh, I mean, it, the one I remember, and this is one done by the property two years ago, it was uh, nothing can grow. I remember no trees, no shrubs can be planted on that 20 feet. What kind of because, easement is it? I don't know, I'd have to get the, the paper. I, I actually thought that was the property line right there that was 20 feet from the fence line. I don't it is, but I always okay. just call it an easement, just like we have an easement to go through on Grovers to go across the road there. Ingress, ingress, ingress. and egress. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, yeah, so it's a different term. Uh, there's so no know. easement, just yeah. an ingress, egress. If that's in the, the deed, in the legal description, then that's. <clears throat> Cindy, Cindy, what would that, if there is a, uh, along the south part of the property, a 20 foot egress, 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 egress uh, restriction, would that 20 feet, if, if it's protected, that nothing can be planted there, would that mean that a solar panel couldn't be planted in that also? Well, it wouldn't be able to go on their property, though, on his Pardon. property. It wouldn't be able to go on Mr. Starbucks' property, would it? Yeah, it's just to get them into these fields right here. Is that, whose property is that ingress, egress? It's his. It's on his. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that would restrict. That would restrict anything from the, if, it, if the property line, according to Cindy, if the property line has a 20-foot 20, 20 ingress, egress uh -huh. on the north side of it, then that would prohibit anything from being on the south property. side of the property. Or north side of the property line, south side of the property. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that would prohibit anything from being placed on that 20 foot easement area. Okay. And then you would have to be, then be away on the 20 feet from, because you could go right to the edge of the yes. ingress, egress yes. line and put your starting solar panel there. Okay. Which, once he got back 50 feet, he could put a solar panel right on a egress line, but he didn't <coughs> set that. Right? Well, 20 feet. 20 feet. Yeah, because yeah. 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 he already meets the... Once you're back 50 feet, he can set the thing right on that 20 foot either. So he could... 50 feet's feet the regular, feet. regular setback line, so yeah, he could... But not to be used to 50 feet. 50 feet? Where are you talking about? Well, from the front, he's got to be back 50 feet. Oh. He's off the road. He's, oh, he's yeah, off he's, the road he's, more than that. Yeah. But, but, you know, from his property line, front yard, it would technically be what the rules call for is a 50-foot setback. And he 
has a 20 foot, the way we're understanding, 20 foot ingress, egress easement on the front of the, the south side of his property, Mr. Starbucks property. You know, so then from that standpoint, you could put the solar panel at 20 feet, 20 feet. one inch on back. You know, but nothing can be, can be out there on that front part. Yeah, I think. This is my opinion. I think we need to know exactly what the restrictions are on the property, or we make the other option would be to make a motion such that it would accommodate that. Whatever the language is on the legal description. Language on the legal description. Then, you know, if if that's the case, then uh, then Cameron, you could go ahead and, and grant the, a permit for it. Am I am I correct, Cindy? Yeah, it would take it. It would not take a variance, yeah. It was, yeah, it's still because it wouldn't meet the 50 feet. So right. it's still, it's still it, it, would take, it would take a variance because it doesn't meet the 50 feet right. so it's still for the front yard. Right. Uh, yeah. So okay. it would be a, a 20 foot variance. Yeah, you know, that's what the language says in the, in the legal description. Is that what the language says in the legal description? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe legal okay. Description. okay, okay. <clears throat> so in that, that instance, correct me if I'm wrong, we would need to know what the legal description is on this uh, this uh, in ingress egress restriction, correct? Am I, am I correct, Cindy? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to see if I can maybe pull it up. Well, that's what I figured you were doing. We were waiting, <laughs> waiting to see what you find. Yeah, so. Well, you, you could uh, you could grant uh, a variance that uh, if, if there is a uh, you, you have to be careful to word it. You could grant a variance that would accommodate the 20 foot ingress egress, and that the solar panel would have to be located, you know, no closer than the like well, the legal descriptions. Requirements. requirements. You know, so, so you could say you could come along and say, okay, you grant a variance of five feet if there is no ingress egress uh, legal, description. legal description, or if there is one that it would be a twenty greater than twenty feet from the edge of the property line, or whatever the legal description, or whatever says, the legal description says, says twenty five to thirty. You want to yeah. make sure you cover yeah. all. Yes, yes, very good. Idea. Up to fifty feet. So, because very of fifty good feet, idea. you can put it there. Darkness. That solves one issue. We're going to go back 20 feet. It's going to be 20 feet. Yeah, we're going to that's one feet old. It doesn't well, get any further away from the other one. Well, no, no, that's going to be the that's going to be the the egress. What they're talking about is on the on the south side of the property. Right. Or Sorry, north, yeah. yeah, south side of the property. So it'd be where the five foot okay. is here. I don't believe it's right. It's a straight shot back on the west side, so it wouldn't change that. It's a, it would still be 20 feet from, from the west side because there's no. There's no easement whatsoever on the west side of, the, of yeah. Mr. Starbucks property, correct? I think, you, yeah, definitely. Okay. So the does the language say ingress, egress down this alley right here and then goes over? Because obviously there's some kind of ingress, egress here for you to get to your property. That that right there, from what I understand, that's a half acre lane, right? Mm -hmm. um, that is, was part of the property. And it come, it had the same thing. It's like <clears throat> no, so many feet here. That's yeah. for them to get to these, these two. I mean, I think I have the stuff I got from the realtor in the back of my car. Would you mind going get them? No, I can go get it. Yeah, I, I'm not able to pull it right okay. now. Please, please do that. All right, Let's see if we can resolve that. This is <clears throat> Still need a variance. Still need a variance. Yeah, yeah, unless if, if that thing said uh, there's a 50 foot, then he, he would have to yeah, go because he's already goes to the threshold. Yeah, so Anything within the 50 feet, he still has to get a variance. But right. for the, the other <coughs> property owners, if they're within five feet, they need to, he needs to sign a letter holding them not liable. Mm -hmm. But 
how far back. Well, you got to make a sign a letter under anything under fifty if you want. Okay. So okay. I was wondering how far back we go before you're comfortable with with the debris. Yeah. Well, if he has to go back that extra 20, 20, feet. 20, back 20. 20 feet and beyond, <coughs> yeah. we shouldn't have a problem, yeah. I wouldn't think. But I would somebody. still <laughs> like to have a letter. Uh, You'd be more comfortable with yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's pretty open to that. For about that yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, the time you get 20 feet from the property line, if you're going down to the plant. Oh, yeah. How yeah. Well, well, some of that equipment gets caught. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to be turning lights. That, oh, you never know. See, I take care of the solar field. We have a rock in the very middle panel of that solar field. Not to that, the bus of the bus panel. That could be a power line. Had to. It was the very middle panel. What's that, about half a mile? It's five acres. No, not half a mile. Oh, okay. Off the back tire of a truck. So I guess that would probably be a high school. So I get a lot of work back there Monday. We got a lot for him. And he's got probably enough room to get all that back in there to get 20 feet back beyond if there's all set in there. Let's see what's legal. Yeah, I mean, it, may, it, may, it may make this thing. <coughs> this is the first I've heard of the ingress egress. So. I always just call it an easement. Yeah. 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 An easement is like a utility easement, or <coughs> utilities have a right to yeah. they just come in and work on something, yeah. they got so many feet. Yeah. So, a little bit different, I guess. Yeah, we've got those on two homes. Oh, yeah, they're, they're all over the place. The cities have them. Utilities. You have any big power towers? You got a great big one there. Uh, you can plant yeah. underneath there, but it's going to happen. Uh, just yeah. drive right over it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let Cindy look at it. She's a legal. There's everything to have. Okay. Legal. 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 That was done back in 2005. Buyers agree in covenants that no trees or shrubs shall be planted atop along the entire west side of the above described real estate that is to be used for driveway purposes. Buyers agree in covenant that no trees or shrubs I can't talk. Trees or shrubs shall be planted within the first 20 feet along the entire south end of the above described real estate. This agreement and covenant shall run with the land and be binding upon buyers, successors, and or assigns in interest. Yes, it says exactly what you said. Yep. So they, start, they would start right there. 
this line and get 20 feet, you can't put anything in there. Yep. Okay, so that, that answers that. <clears throat> okay. So, with that bit of information, you know, any type of motion would have to accommodate the 20 feet. And so then, uh, you know, in that instance, someone would have to make a motion, you know, to proceed with a variance or So an agreement the between the, the current. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Does it fall back to its original then if someone else wants to buy it? Pardon? If he was to sell the property, this was all said and done, would they have if, to? If they had that restriction before, you could go on the property. Yeah, like it could be, it's like a covenant. Yeah. Covenant. Yeah. yeah. So stayed with the so, property. Yeah. Yeah, it was that would with do the property. It. So you, 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 you folks would have to have that agreement recorded here in the courthouse. That's a very good. Start on it, or if you help us word it, <clears throat> what will we? Your, your word person is on vacation. Yeah, that's oh, right. Teresa, <laughs> Teresa, she, she reminded us what happened. That's she right. Did. She did she last meeting. Told right. you, do yes. your homework. You do your homework. I thought that was pretty. Picture showed up. Yes. That's it. What? Why? Why doesn't somebody start? And I can help them. This chair doesn't know. Situation we're looking at sent back up 50 feet. We changed to 20 feet. And all parties involved should have a uh, right, a liability right <clears throat> to cover them, the owners of the property, folks that's the property. And I don't see an issue with it. If the gentleman's farming it, there's not an issue with it. The gentleman owns the property, there's not an issue with it. So, you know. Would you put in there that the uh, uh, Mr. Starbuck would hold the Jones property harmless from flying combine flying debris, you know, during harvesting? Yes. And that, uh, but would not cover, not hold the Jones farming operation harmless from mechanical damage due to driving equipment over or into the solar panel. I don't, I don't think you need that. I think yeah. if you just say what they do hold them harmless for, then everything else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. That's why we have Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple. I'll second whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm strong to say that if the guys part the land, it can happen. I mean, it's, going, it's, it's probably going to happen. Something's going to get damaged. But they've worked it out. So okay. they're happy with it. They're happy with it. Okay. All right. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion from the board. Hearing none, call the question. All favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So now we go on to the questions. Uh, <coughs> that is fine. There's three 
three questions that have to be answered for the completion of the variance. And uh, it says an appeal to the board requesting the variance shall demonstrate and the board of appeals, the board may approve such variance only upon determination in writing that. First question, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. So a motion must demonstrate that this variance will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Can you say that the, property, the adjoining property owners will locate the situation and everybody's happy with it? Well, I would say something like the variance, okay. the variance and, and uh, liability agreement. The variance and liability agreement has, will be signed by the property owners. Okay. So there's a second? Second. Second question made and seconded. All in favor, are there any discussion from the board? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Second question, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the variance will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. So a motion must demonstrate that the use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the variance will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Yeah, I, I agree that, that it does not, it's uh, woodland or farmland does not uh, change the overall use and it will not substantially adverse Motion is made and seconded. Discussion from the board. Hearing none, call the question. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Third and final question. The strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. So it must demonstrate that uh, it will not uh, uh, you know, result in practical difficulties if we grant this variance. Or the zoning ordinance, if we don't grant the variance, would, would we result in practical difficulties. Okay. I guess that's a proper term. Okay. Well, it's pretty pretty simple. It's hard for solar panels in a wooded area. It makes it a little hard to hard to have solar panels work on a wooded area and moving them up so we can use solar panels in the home. Motion's made and seconded. Discussion from the board. Hearing none, call the question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Starbuck, you've been granted a variance for setback at 20 feet, and uh, you need to have an agreement with the Jones firm concerning liability. And uh, on that, I think uh, Cameron will be able to issue you a permit, correct? Yes. Oh, Joanna. Joanna. Yeah, both properties. Both properties. Yeah. Joe. Adam. Adam's only. Joanna. Adam. Joanna. Joins that also. Yeah. 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 Two points. She agreed to do on both properties. Yeah. That's what the question I asked. Okay. Okay.
just that uh, assisting whatever we need to for some new zoning yeah. language, and we've got one property that we're getting ready to take to court for failure to follow the ordinances for the county nuisance ordinance and for our zoning ordinance. It qualifies as a junk yard. Is that one that the Board of Zoning Appeals is, is uh, wrestled no. with? It's no, just down the road. Or just down the road. <laughs> yeah. in the same area with different property. Yeah. 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 And we're not, we're not going to let this one build a barn. So. Okay. It's been an issue for some time. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? That's it. Okay. Additional information or comments and uh, concerns of the board. I'd like to see the information on the local property where you said it was set back was okay. Mm -hmm. You sent me the info. You sent the information that was okay, but I'd like to see how they got to, how they got to where they at. Uh, get any information with that? Yeah, it's on that sheet too. That it's on the plan sheet. It's section I see section it. D. I didn't get that. I get no, it. Didn't, it didn't from it, but yeah. yeah. So we requested that from his engineering staff, and um, they replied back with their formula, and it was certified. Or Done by a certified licensed engineer. So okay. I looked at it too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to make a comment. In the APC meeting, you guys were talking about mixed use uh, properties and stuff. And there's something that I feel that we really need in our uh, you know, zoning ordinance, and that's the occupancy permit for business operation. So if someone wants a home-based uh, business, uh, an occupancy permit or a, I don't know whether that's a proper term for it, or a, a use permit that will allow them to use it for a home-based business for the period of time that they own the property, and then upon the sale of the property, it would revert back to the original use unless they went to the, the uh, That would that would probably eliminate the need for a lot of total spot zoning throughout the throughout the county, and it might and I'm just saying might eliminate some of this where stuff gets zoned from from uh, say residential or agriculture to business, and then you know ten years later it needs to go back to to uh, uh, resident or agriculture or whatever. So I know a lot of times when we when we changed. A zoning or done a spot zone we've also put in language saying that if that business ever is, uh, I think it's actually in the uh, in the ordinance if, it, if they don't have it running as a business for a, over a year then it can revert back because they had to they had to bring it in front of the board yeah you know, because like yeah. the 102 or 18 that we had uh, mm -hmm. this this past year, that house sold four times in my year that they were selling that yeah. So, you know, unless they bring it to area plan, sure. we don't know. 22,000 right. people. So it's yeah, you know, <coughs> the only time it would be is if the lender comes along and says, looks at it and says, you know, this is a rough and improper zoning and I'm not going to mm -hmm. issue they the loan. Usually, where yeah. we get. Yeah. 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 You know, and yep. that goes back to the uh, uh, potential stone quarry there southeast of Camden, you know, which was zoned all in. That's why you have to do all of those. Property owners yeah. have to come back and rezone it back yep. to agricultural so they get a loan on their home. Right. Yeah. So I, I think it would be a useful tool for the county to look at. You know, and uh, it might make everybody's life a little easier <laughs> in the future. So that's just a comment I have. Any other members? Hearing no other. Do I hear a motion to